This is the OVO tabulator preparation. Instructions will be provided. Verify that all compartments of the ballot box are empty. Then check both locks. The same key is used for both locks. Then close and lock all the compartments. All the compartments should remain locked until after 7 p.m. or until all the voters have left the polling place. Slide the tabulator into place and use the blue key to lock both locks, which holds the tabulator into place. Plug the power cord into the back of the OVO unit and then into the power source. The screen will be in this position when you take the tabulator out of the bag. Raise the screen up and the kickstand will swing down. Power on the tabulator. A system check will take place once the machine has turned on. The system check will take about three minutes. If there is an error, call tech support. Enter the password provided by your county. Two types of tapes will print. The machine info report and the zero tape with every ballot style on it. You want to verify that the zero tape has zero votes cast. Check for the correct precinct name and number. And compare the tape to the specimen ballots. And then each judge must sign the zero tape. Press done on the screen. And your OVO is ready for use. For under and over votes, the ballot will come back out of the machine if there has been an under or an over vote. And the voter will have two options. For an overvote, they can cast the ballot as is or they can spoil the ballot. For an undervote, they can return to the booth and vote on the same ballot or cast the ballot as is. To cast that ballot as is, they can select ignore validation on the screen and insert the ballot into the tabulator. Now, let's go over the OVI touchscreen preparation. As always, instructions will be provided. This is an ADA accessible device. Unpack the headphones from the bag and remove the keypad from the back of the machine. Plug the headphones into the upper left side of the keypad. Set the screen in place. Start at the back of the unit and raise the display. Swing the arm down and insert under the screw. Tighten the screw and the display will be ready. Plug the power cord into the back of the machine and then into the power source. Then plug in the touchscreen power cord located under the screen and then plug it into the power source. Power on the machine. Remember, there are two power cords for this machine, so there are two things that need to be plugged in. A system check will take place once the machine has been turned on, and this will take about three minutes to complete. If there has been an error, call tech support. The machine info report will print once the check is done. Press continue and the open report will print. All judges will need to sign this report. To prepare the OVI touchscreen for a voter, enter the voter's five digit precinct ballot style and select enter. And your OVI is ready for use. The OVO tabulator shutdown. Instructions will be provided. Press the hidden button in the bottom corner to end the voting. Enter the election password, then press enter. When the administrative menu opens, select close voting. Select yes to close voting. Select yes again and the votes will process. This could take a few minutes. Then the election summary will print when the process is complete. Print the required number of tape copies. And additional copies may be printed for poll watchers who request them. 
select continue when all your copies have been printed. Select yes to print the write-in report. If there are no valid write-in races, the screen just won't appear. For the write-in report, uncheck the compress images. Select continue and the copies will print. You can also print them in a different direction by selecting compress images, but the image is bigger when images aren't compressed. For additional copies, select print copy. You can press continue when you're done. This is just an example of what the compressed and the non-compressed versions look like. Select shut down, select yes, and now you can shut down the machine. And you're going to want to follow your election authority's instructions on what to do with the machine at the end of the night. Some may just have you remove the TM device and return that to the counting center, while others may have you remove the entire tabulator and return that to the counting center. So just make sure to follow their instructions. To remove the TM device, press and hold the button on the side of the screen and lift the screen and then use the key to unlock the TM compartment and gently pull to remove and replace and lock the cover. Now let's go over the OVI touchscreen shutdown. Again, instructions will be provided. Press the hidden button in the bottom corner. Insert the election password to end voting, and select close voting twice, and the close report will print. When this screen opens, press back to return to the admin screen. Select shut down twice and wait 20 seconds for the screen to go black. Then you can power off the machine. Unplug the power cords, and unplug the headphones and keypad. Store the keypad back in the holster and the headphones in the case. Loosen the screw and swing the arm down and lay the screen flat. And again, follow your election authority's instructions on what to return back to the counting center.